this has an alternative, but all her albums are alternative. I'm thinking this one has more of like a rock base to it, considering her song she put out. I uh, believe Transparent Soul is more rock. I actually love Willow Smith. I'm a huge Willow Smith fan. I went to see her and Jaden Smith in 2019. Uh, and where was that? Austin or San Antonio? Wherever that was when they went on tour together. So I'm pretty excited to hear what this album's gonna sound like. Like I said, it's only 30 minutes long. So yeah, hopefully it's good. We'll see how it goes. Let's get right into it. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Comment if there's any albums that you want me to review. It could be a new album or an old album, an upcoming album, anything. Let me know down in the comments below. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments below. Let me know how you feel about the album. Did you like it? Did you give it a listen? Will you give it a listen now? Let me know. So those transparent soul, um, we all know that song by now. Um, I hate that this is the song that's really getting her the recognition. Um, she has so many great songs, and they're everybody's like, "Oh, this is her lane. This is her lane." With kind of like the rock uh, type of influence, but I'm like, she's been making music like this. Where have y'all been? <laughs> Where have y'all been? Willow Smith is a great artist. Her and her brother, Jaden, they're probably part of my top artists. They're both really good. Um, that's why I'm like, I don't understand why people are just now really getting into her, but hey, I'm not mad at it. We got an album out of it, so that's fine with me. The next song is You. Featuring Travis Barker. Um, I'm assuming every song on this album is gonna be very, very short. It is 30 minutes long. My favorite genre is of music is like alternative type indie type music. I love sad songs. Those are my favorite. Oh, I love me a good sad song. Those are like my happy songs, ironically. So like her last album was Chef's Kiss. Like if y'all haven't heard Willow's last album, I think it's self-titled album. I think her last album name is Willow. But if you've never if you haven't heard it, give it a listen. That's my favorite favorite album. She did what had to be done on that album. This one is leaning more towards rock. She's always, like I said, had rock type like uh, influence in her music. Um, but I'm assuming this one is going to be straight like rock rock. The next song is Don't Save Me. <laughs> Very calm, or they could be like 
screaming like this song. She wasn't really screaming, but you know, she was like, she wasn't really like calm. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It's my favorite type of genre of music. I love like Michael Sayer. I love Blood Orange. I love, um, I love like Moses Sumney. I love like Joji. Like he's like considered R and B, but like I like like sad music, like Sunny Colin. Hard to say his name. Marco McKinnis, Sampa, like all like that where it's like it sounds sad but just like for some reason it doesn't make me sad it makes me happy like that's my happy music like yes sound sad but i'm happy that you sound sad like that's my type of music i don't know my mom said i like like dark type of like music which i probably do i, I know i do but <laughs> like alternative though that's like that's my favorite genre like indie type music that's my favorite favorite genre but I do like that song, Naive. So far, she's given me inner music. Like, everything's really short and kind of just... So far, it's good, but I do wish the songs were longer just so I could really, like, get into them. A few of the songs are, like, a minute and a few seconds long where it's, like, you can't really get into them. Um, that one was, was at least two minutes, so I do like that song. But the next song... The next song is Lipstick. I heard this song when she released the little visual for it. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. Um, maybe I kept telling myself maybe I have to hear it without looking at the visual. The visual was throwing me off. I was like, what is this? <laughs> so I'm gonna listen to it again and see if I like it. But as far as me, like, I, I've heard it before and when I heard it, I don't think I really liked it. But I'll give it another chance. <laughs> Next 
fuck is bro? He drinks Travis Barker. Oh, like Avril Lavigne. <laughs> Okay, so for Willow's album, she usually wears like leggings and a t-shirt. Me personally, I'm not a fan of leggings. I only want I only own one pair of leggings. I do not like leggings. I don't know how people love leggings. I do not like leggings. So and usually those are my workout leggings, so they're dirty. But I wore a regular plain t-shirt. I got it from like Walmart in the little boy section. Um I have on all my jewelry because I don't take it off. Uh, everything will be in the description. My rings on. Everything will be in the description again. I have on these jeans. Well, they're pants. Um, they're blue pants. I got them from Depop. Um, I believe they're Fashion Nova pants. 
I have my crystals I always keep in my pocket. I know she's in the crystals. These are my crystals. And then I have some around my neck. And then my rings. Uh, this one's a crystal. Crystal. Uh, rose quartz. Black onyx. This is uh, obsidian. I have a rose quartz again. I have a pearl. And then... Oh, I don't have on my malachite. Uh, but yeah, and then I just have on some regular black Levi shoes. So yeah, make sure y'all leave a comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about the album. Like I said, I really appreciate y'all taking the time out to listen to or watch my video. Let me know what your favorite song on the album was down below. Let me know if you liked it, if you didn't like it, what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it, um, and all that good stuff. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.